Okay, so we're gonna roll on the on the um, time chart. Uh, I should have did this in the beginning, but that's okay. So we got a five. So five. So it's gonna be day for four turns, and then night for the last two. So we'll just do that to remember. Okay, so we're looking for, I think it was mutant parts, so we have to hope we find some uh, some mutants. But now it's turn two, so we're going to go back to the unknown detected chart. And we're going to roll on it. We roll the one. So nothing else shows up. So that's okay. So now we're going to, uh, we're going to head over to, you know what, I'll show you guys how to, how, how the anomalies work. So we'll move six inches. Okay. There's our first act, our first action point. So then we'll do that again, and uh, that'll be our turn completed. Now, round that's the end of our, our round, round three. Uh, round three, start. Mm. Okay, so once again, die six, four, something shows up, and then we're going to roll on the distance. Mm -mm. We got a one, so we'll do the ten inches over here. So what is it going to be? Ten inches away. Hostiles turn. <clears throat> Eleven. Another anomaly. Wow, these dice like to roll. 11 and 8's a lot. Alright, so another anomaly. So what is it going to be? <laughs> Wrong dice. I need a 12-sider. 9. Vortex. Okay. Okay, bringing ourselves back to the directional chart. We're going to roll it. 4. Okay, so 10 inches from our stalker in that direction. Okay, so there it is. There's a line of sight already, so we, we see it. And back to our turn again. So we're going to move, oops, we're going to move up to the anomaly. And now. We need to see if uh, we can detect what is inside. Maybe there's an artifact or something. Okay, so in this case, we need to do an opposed check. Red is the anomaly. White's going to be me. And uh, detectors can help you add on to this. So anyway, we're going to roll. Okay, so we actually successfully checked and uh, avoided the danger. If you'd, have, if you'd have failed this, you would take damage from the anomaly. But because we did it successful, we don't take damage, and now we need to see if there's something in it. We need to roll a 20, because we have no equipment. So 20, there's an artifact. And sadly, there's nothing. So uh, We're going to move this way, because it took one action point to do that. I believe, right? Because um, doing the action itself, yeah. So now we're going to move six inches here and then end our turn. Go back to the chart. Do the last roll here. So we got a two. And then, okay, so two hostiles have shown up. 
in what direction we shall find out five yeah, sadly that goes out of the border, so we can't do that. Unfortunately, this table's too small, but you would, uh, four, okay, that works. You would want a bigger battle zone than this. So four, and we're doing that at ten inches, I think it was. Okay, so there's the two hostels. Now... My turn's over, so it's their go. So they're actually going to move. And now I'll show you guys how uh, the NPCs move in the game. So you're going to roll your dice. You got a three. Okay, so they're actually going to move uh, six inches into the tree line over here. So we can't see him. And then the other one, six, is going to move down this way, six inches. Okay, back to our turn. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to ambush that thing over there. So we're going to move six inches, okay, and then we're going to, actually we're going to, mm, 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 mm. yeah, well, I guess we're going to just wait here. So now that we did that, we're going to move back on to, it, it doesn't end though. Because we did this check, it's just going to continue until uh, until the sixth round, I believe. So we're going to roll on that. And once the sixth round it hits, um, I guess we did three. Yeah, once the sixth round hits, no more will spawn. So six. Oops. Okay, well, two more. The wrong dice, but we'll just go with it. So two more at a distance of six. So two more, 25 inches away. In what direction? Okay. See these? I don't think it's rolling very well. You know, I got to actually start rolling it. But anyway, so. Okay, so 15 inches. We roll the four. So that direction, so there's more unknowns over in that area. And, um, so, now they're going to move. Oh, wait, no, sorry. Um, I need to roll their initiative. Initiative is 10 and 13. I didn't do this for the last one, but um, I have charts actually. You would originally keep track of everything on these separate charts, but anyway, so. Now back to my turn. We're gonna make eye contact with that. Or wait, what's my 17? Oh yeah, yeah, I get first initiative. We're gonna make eye contact. And more or less, this is just to show you guys. So I might skip a couple of things. But my, my idea is I want to move through here and loot all this stuff and then try to pick off uh, what I need. So hopefully some mutant spawn. So we're actually going to check that out right now. So first creature, 17, what is it? Okay, so it's Band of Stalkers. Okay, so we have some humans there. Um, hmm. Okay, so we're actually going to move six inches and uh, just take cover right by the car. We're going to go on and let uh, 
the zone do its thing now. So uh, they're gonna move again. Just trying to find. Okay, so we're gonna see what they move. Roll the five. Okay, so they're gonna actually come our way six inches. So that's brutal. But also good. Okay, so okay, so now where is he going? Four. He's taken off this way, six inches. And that guy over there, five. He's coming down, so he's gonna come down six inches here. Okay. Okay, so at this point, I think you guys have a good idea of how uh, to loot, move around the environment, and how to spawn the enemies and uh, move them as uh, randomly as possible, as if they have their own, uh, you know, their own minds. But now, the next video, I'll show you guys how to uh, spawn and create the hostile NPCs like these two stalkers here. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you found this interesting, and I hope I uh, explained it properly enough to get the point of the game across. Alright guys, 